Boom. 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 Titan, Titan Slayer. Nice. Lovely shot. Boom. Boom. Hello everybody, this is Tony. Welcome to today's video. Pretty much running the same hangar as yesterday's video, except the only change is with the Titan. Running four squalls, which I used to run all the time, um, but switch to the retaliators, and then for the modules will be plated armor and two cannibal reactors. Um, lately I've been noticing dropping in on Beacon Rush. Um, if I get caught off guard with an enemy Titan, um, they, and they have shotguns that could just blast me away so quickly. I really love the advantages the retaliators have, uh, being able to take people out from such a great distance and doing it so effectively. But sometimes shotguns are a much, much better tool for the job, but not in all scenarios. I think the retaliators are more versatile overall, uh, but shotguns are definitely, definitely better up close and personal. Red Team's doing an excellent job of securing their three beacons. Um, that's actually the better side of the map to have, in my opinion. All three of your beacons are in close proximity. The side I spawned in on, um, the two home beacons are spread out. Um, the initial one is pretty close, but the farm is further away, and then it's a long walk to get to center. If I had to choose, I would like to spawn, um, if I had a choice, on the opposite side, which I spawned this map. But I think, you know, it's more of a challenge playing from this side. So I'm going to continue up here to see someone's putting pressure on our home beacon. Take him out quickly. And I'm going to go reapply more pressure. Uh, on this map, if you apply pressure to their top beacon, pull them away from center. Um, the team can have a chance to capture center. You know, luckily, if you, if you get them to overreact, um, I've noticed that's, that's been my experience on this map. Get them to overreact at one of their beacons, so you can capture the beacon elsewhere. This little scorpion being real, real elusive. Now, Doom Glaciers, that's a great setup in this current meta, with all the shells on the battlefield. I've been seeing a ton of Ajuns lately. Finish that scorpion off. Capture their beacon. Unfortunately, they took the farm from us as well. Or at least have it white for the moment being. I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. They have a strong enemy presence at center. Um, I'm just trying to evade and dodge all the fire because they're focusing on me right now. I'm debating if I should drop another bot in or attempt pushing somewhere else kind of a lost cause. I see another one of my teammates kind of pushing up. I wanted to see if I could sneak over to the to the uh, dam somehow. But it seems I'm getting a lot of focus still. <laughs> They're death marking me and everything. See that invader is pushing back for their beacon, which I knew something like that was going to happen. But I just spawned another bot in there. Just turned it white. That's why I love these sonic weapons, man. They take out tanks so quickly. Almost got him down the last stand. Going back and forth with this uh, invader on his beacon. Somehow he was able to get it to turn white. The Titan from across is hitting with that Tesla weapon. He was able to bring me down a little further. And I was able to lose my last stand. Now we have a leech. I'm trying to take this beacon back, but now there's uh, also <laughs> a Nodens on my head. And I don't think he's going to let me get this beacon back at this point. That would have been a perfect place to drop in 
with my shotgun nodens. But since I have to cover a great distance right now, I'm dropping my hawk to try to take this nodens out of the battlefield. A nodens is probably one of the most important bots in the battlefield. You know, he has an incredible amount of firepower, heal his teammates pressed. So, you know, my thinking is focus on getting him off the battlefield weakens the other titans they have on the battlefield. And I noticed that was probably one of the better players on their team. Yep, it's a good player. So he was, you know, countering everything I was doing and dropping in where he needed to. He was playing the match very smart. GG's to that man. Yeah, if I would have stood on target there, I probably could have finished him or got him really low. So my flying skills are a little off. I really don't know Hawks anymore. him off. Oh, now I see we have two enemy Arthurs right here. Um, can't break through the shield very well with the Hawk's ability or with the Nucleons or Forkers. You know, my best bet is to try to get a high vantage point above them. But I noticed there's a Ming over here and now that is a very easy target for a Hawk to take out. Hawks eat moons for breakfast, dude. It's not even funny. Look, that was just a brand new full main out of here like nothing. So I know I'm going to die here, which isn't a big deal. Um, I'm going to drop my Nodens in, go after these two Arthurs. Since I got my shotgun build, this is preferable. Up close, boom, 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 boom. Titan Slayer, nice. Dude, I miss running these shotguns. They feel so good up close. They feel so good. Let's press this guy. Boom. 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 Titan Slayer. Okay. We got this beacon. I see that guy's running beacons over there. I see two teammates up there. So I'm putting a lot of faith that they're going to maintain that beacon up top. So I go to push for center. And now I realize that might have been a bad idea because now there's only one teammate left there. But I'm committed. I'm out in the open. I need to get there. I see they have an Arthur, which is all right with me because I got this shotgun nodes blasting away. Hit him with the suppression. Oh, Titan Slayer, unbelievable. It this this setup takes out other Titans so quickly if you can get close. It just suffers at range. I mean I wouldn't even bother with anything past 300. I'm just tickling him at that point. I see the disadvantage to running the setup is it doesn't do great damage to regular bots. So the hitbox on regular bots is a lot smaller than Titans. So the pellet spread for these shotguns um, mostly misses even if you're aimed in perfectly at a regular robot. Um, they do so great with Titans because the Titan is such a larger target. Most of your pellets are hitting. Okay, see they take me out there. So our beacon bar is pretty low, but we have three at this point. I want to try to get to center to take the remaining couple guys out there. Oh my god, I'm getting hung up on these little <laughs> shipping containers. It was so frustrating. I mean, looking back, that could have been a fatal mistake that cost us the whole game as well. Uh, beacon rush is a game of seconds and inches, man. Like. Every decision made could have a huge, huge, huge impact on the game. Um, see, now I see that guy's getting center, so I don't have to go up there to capture the beacon with him. So now I have to race to try to get back to meet this guy to protect this beacon. Enemy team is doing a great job. Uh, that's a good player right there. They're, they they know how to play beacon rush. You know, sometimes you get teammates or opponents that don't know how to play. You know, I really enjoy these matches that are back and forth. They're so much more enjoyable to play, and I hope they're more enjoyable to watch as well. Scorpion's in on me. I hit him with the Typhon ability. He can't go anywhere. Flaming him up. Get the kill. So at this point, we have three beacons. It would be too costly and too time-consuming for me to try to go to the dam. 
So I see this guy, this Minos. He was in range for a second. I shot my ability and it missed. Had I hit that guy and locked him down within range, me and my teammate could have finished this guy off. And you'll see why in just a second why I say that was a fatal flaw. Took that guy out no problem. But now, this Minos is on the run. We're getting a 5 cap, and they only have one player left. We're trying to run, we're all trying to chase this dude down, but he's doing an excellent job of staying alive. He has a sliver of health left. Do you see how little his health he had left? And that was defeat. Oh my god, this was so, so heartbreaking. We fought so hard, but it was fun, man. I really, really appreciate everyone in this match. Enemy team did great, my team did great, except for that tank and bum at the bottom. Zero kills, zero beacon, zero everything. Oh my god, that's the worst, man. You know, so I'm gonna do the only thing I can do is report them at this moment in time. Luckily, we have this report feature, and to my knowledge, if people keep reporting the person, you know, they will get consequences eventually. But GG's to everybody in the match. Really appreciate you guys, and keep coming back.